engine on the right is a eBay engine, um, and the engine on the left is a Wildcat engine. Now, the engine on the right, as you can see, it has a uh, one-piece cylinder, not a classic uh, two-piece cylinder with the head and cylinder separate. Um, it was not advertised as such, but when it showed up, it was a one-piece cylinder. Um, so I'm going to take apart both these engines and make some comparisons. These engines have differences because they are made in different factories. The engine on the left is made by Runwell, and California Motorbikes is the sole distributor for Runwell in the United States. On the right, you have Flying Horse, which is not to be confused with Bikeberry's Flying Horse brand. It is a factory in China named Flying Horse, and they sell to many different motorized bike kit vendors. Right away, one of the differences that I noticed right off the bat is that the Runwell uh, Wildcat PK80 has a 40 millimeter intake, while this Flying Horse here only has a 32 millimeter intake. In addition, you can see that the Wildcat has a cast aluminum intake and the Flying Horse on the right has a steel intake. Um, we like to steer, steer away from these steel intakes because they sometimes have holes in the welds. Now this one looks all right, but sometimes they have holes in the welds. And in addition, the rough steel angles inside uh, create a flow issue for the carburetor, while the cast intakes are much smoother for airflow. Here I have a scale that is good for 12 pounds. If I go ahead and put this eBay engine on here, it shows that it is 11 pounds and 1.5 ounces. Now, if I take this off and put on the Wildcat Runwell engine, it maxes out the scale. Now, I do not have a scale that goes above 12 pounds, but as you can see, it's obviously heavier than the eBay engine. These newer engines have upgraded to have the hex screws, which I appreciate. But the only problem is, is that they use them on the exhaust, which is not a good idea because that's common to have these snap off in the cylinder and destroy the cylinder. It's okay to have them on the intake because there's not any weight being supported on there. But for the exhaust, it's much better to have the traditional studs with these thick um, with these thick nuts that have a lot of grab on them, lots of thread on them, so that you can really torque down that exhaust pipe and not have the studs break off inside the Back engine. when these engines were first introduced, they used six millimeter bolts to secure the cylinder. However, many people were having problems with the cylinder studs stripping out, so they switched to eight millimeter in later engine models. However, due to recent cost-saving measures, I've seen them revert back to the six millimeter stud, which is saddening. Now, if you look here, you'll see that they only have six millimeter holes here, and the screws they use are just these six millimeter uh, screws right here. But if you are to look at the Wildcat, you can see that they have these much bigger eight millimeter studs. I've loosened this stud up here so you guys can see there's a much bigger mounting point than on this engine. Now that usually wouldn't be a very big deal, but you have to torque down these, uh, the head down to 12 foot pounds. But the problem is, is that the six millimeter screws can't always hold the 12 foot pounds. And I've seen them strip out a lot. So that's why it's a good idea to have those eight millimeter uh, screws holding on the cylinder. On the left is the Wildcat piston and on the right is the eBay Amazon engines piston. Here we'll see the Wildcat has the original manufacturer of piston. MNT. This one here does not have any such markings. Now, if we put this eBay Amazon engines piston on here, it has a circlip in it and this one does not. So I don't know if that affects the weight at all, but it is still lighter regardless. 2.9 ounces than this piston is three ounces. As you can see, the Wildcat PK80 on the left has a wider and smoother intake, while the eBay Amazon has a rough and smaller intake. We also see some chroming imperfections on the bottom of this cylinder and in the insides of the cylinder. If we flip them around to the exhaust port, you'll see the same story. Rough exhaust part that is smaller than the Wildcat. The most important part of any engine is the crankshaft. The Wildcat has a balanced crank, 
while the eBay Amazon engines do not. In addition, other things that factor towards vibration are the mounting points on the engine. Here is the eBay Amazon engine. It has a thinner motor mount than the Wildcat engine. Story in the rear. Here is the eBay Amazon, and here is the Wildcat's mounting point. On the top is the wrist pin and wrist pin bearing from the eBay Amazon motor, and the one on the bottom is from the Wildcat. As you can see, the Wildcat has a bigger and higher quality wrist pin bearing. These Wildcat engines also ship with a 415H chain. The H stands for heavy duty. If you put this one on the scale here, you'll see that it weighs one pound, 10 ounces. However, this chain, which ships with the eBay and Amazon engines, feels more flimsy and has more play in it. This is because it's not the heavy duty version. These chains both have the same amount of length in them. That is only one pound and six ounces, meaning that it is four ounces lighter, four ounces less of material on this chain. The engine on the left is the Wildcat and the one on the right is a eBay Amazon engine. As you can see for the crankcase gasket, they used a very weak paper thin gasket material. I can easily rip this with my fingers. The Wildcat uses high quality gaskets throughout the entire engine. As you can see here, it is a thicker gasket. I cannot rip this with my fingers as it is reinforced. I'm trying with my thumb now, really trying to, to break it. I cannot break that gasket. It's a much better quality gasket and it will not blow out. These are commonly, uh, the common issue with these is that they'll blow out right here and you have to split the case just to replace that gasket. And it's very inconvenient and time consuming. Here's a subtle difference that some people may not notice. The eBay Amazon engines, they use a cheaper to manufacture magnet than the Wildcat. These magnets are stamped into little pieces out of sheet metal and hand assembled in China. As you can see, this magnet on the eBay Amazon engine is comprised of thick layers. However, if you look at the Wildcat magnet, it's comprised of many thin layers. This creates a stronger magnetic field, which makes a much stronger spark. Show you this magnet again. And then here's the Wildcat magnet. Earlier, I showed that the top end of the Wildcat is over a pound heavier than the eBay Amazon engine. This is a problem because the eBay Amazon engine cannot cool as sufficiently because it has less aluminum mass. Here we have the Wildcat engine, and here we have the eBay Amazon engine. I've stripped them down identically so that they should, in theory, weigh exactly the same. However, the eBay Amazon engine uses poorer quality materials inside, which lead to it being lighter. Now, if I put this one on the scale, this is the eBay Amazon engine. If I can get it to balance, that is nine pounds, 2.2 ounces. Now, if I put the Wildcat engine on the scale, it is nine pounds, 7.5 ounces. The eBay Amazon engines, they try to cheap out on the quality whenever possible. Cheaping out with using lower quality internals on the engine makes it hard for the consumer to tell the difference between the two engines. This saves a few dollars in the manufacturing process. However, this can create big problems with the engine when you have poor quality internals. Thank you for watching my video comparing these two engines. You may find when shopping that the Wildcat is 20 to $30 more expensive than the eBay and Amazon engines. However, with paying this 20 to $30, you'll get a much better quality engine that will last you much longer and have less vibration. Thank you for watching.